Hello and welcome to the devotion for Friday, March the 8th, entitled, I'm Coming Over. Now, as we've been talking about life change stories all week long, one of my favorite life change stories is Zacchaeus. Now, Zacchaeus was a tax collector, and in the first century, if you were a tax collector, you were a sellout to the Roman government, which is to say, you said, basically, I'm hated or I'm not popular or I really don't care what other people think, so I'm just going to be rich. Now, Zacchaeus in Sunday school gets a, uh, a lot of press as being a wee little man. In the story, it says that he was short of stature, so short that he couldn't see over the crowd, so he decided to climb a tree when Jesus was coming by to try to get a look at him. So we know that Zacchaeus was not a popular person, that he had made a decision to sell out to the Roman government, and that he was hated by all of his people, which meant most likely he had to satisfy himself with money because he probably didn't have a lot of respect or relationships from the people in the area where he lived. So here's a, here's a guy whose life was filled with making himself rich by overtaxing, which is how tax collectors became rich and why they would even choose to be sellouts in, the, uh, uh, in their present day. Now, Jesus is walking, and the crowds are thronging around him, and Zacchaeus can't see, so he runs down the road a ways and climbs a sycamore tree, and he's hanging there just hoping he can get a look at Jesus. And when Jesus gets under this tree, he just cranks his head up. And it says, when Jesus reached that spot, he looked up, and he said to him, Zacchaeus, come down immediately. I must stay at your house today. Zacchaeus, I'm coming over. Out of all these people who would love to have me at their home, I'm coming to your house. Now, I'm sure Zacchaeus was as shocked as the people, because the people, uh, uh, when he goes, he came down, uh, he came down uh, at once and welcomed him gladly, and all the people saw this and began to mutter, he is gone to be the guest of a sinner. Now, that was true. But Jesus had a bigger vision than hanging out with the rich and the beautiful and the popular and the healthy. He wanted to see a miraculous life change. Now, he didn't even get to his house. All he said is, I'm coming over. He hasn't even made it to the house. They've known each other for moments. And it says, but Zacchaeus stood up and said, Lord, here and now, I will give half of my possessions to the poor. And if I've cheated anybody out of anything, I will pay it back four times the amount. I believe one of the most powerful things we will ever do for a person who is struggling in their life, who runs their life out of greed or bitterness or any of those other things, once we live there for a while, I believe it becomes a bankrupt life. And what we really want, again, is someone to truly care, someone to truly be a friend, someone to truly love us in spite of all of our failures, in spite of all of our brokenness. For Zacchaeus to be loved and recognized by Jesus became more important than all that money. Money had been his God, but suddenly he found something that was worth more than cash. He wanted to know that Jesus would care enough to say, I'm coming over. And I believe there are people in every one of our lives that what they would love to hear from us is, I'm coming over. I want to spend time with you. I want to do life with you. Jesus finishes by saying, Today salvation has come to this house because this man too is a child of Abraham. For the Son of Man came to seek and to save those that are lost. Let's pray. Father, Lord, for every one of us, uh, we love to point out fault. We have no trouble uh, seeing the dysfunction. The question is, do we love the dysfunctional person? And it's obvious that you cared about Zacchaeus. You weren't just put off by his sin the way that the crowd was. You were concerned about him as a person. You saw the bankruptness of his life. You saw the brokenness. You saw the desire. 
and you touch that with a very simple statement, I'm coming over. I, I would like to spend time with you. Lord, give us the eyes, the ears, the heart to be able to do those kind of things. To go, I'd love to come over. I would love to spend time. You are valuable to me. And Lord, I pray that we see this kind of life change. Salvation coming to a house. In Jesus' name, amen. Well, guys, sometimes the smallest gesture is the birthing of life change. It certainly was for Zacchaeus. So think about that. I'll see you Sunday morning.